It's questions about whether the American people were lied to about the progress of the war in Afghanistan, the longest in our history. A massive new trove of confidential documents obtained by the Washington Post reveals U.S. officials systematically lied to the American public about the Afghan war virtually since the beginning, 18 years ago. The objective to conceal widespread fears that America was losing. The rosy picture that's been painted by our political and military leadership uh, is not the, the real picture on the ground. Yes, for 18 years, the American government has been painting a rosy picture, telling Americans everything has been going great in Afghanistan, when in reality, it's a total shit show. We're now learning from this bombshell Washington Post expose that the government manipulated every detail about the war in Afghanistan. They used numbers they couldn't back up. They hyped small successes when they knew the big picture was getting worse. And they even tried to spin suicide bombings as a sign of success. But what makes the story even more egregious was that they lied about even having a plan. It's as blunt as can be. We didn't know what we were doing. We didn't know exactly why we were there or how we could get out, and not a soul could define victory. Retired General Douglas Lute, the Afghan war czar, saying in 2015, what are we trying to do here? We didn't have the foggiest notion of what we were undertaking. We didn't have a strategy. We didn't even know who the enemy was. Who were we there to fight? Wow. America sent its troops to Afghanistan for 18 years and they didn't even know who they were going to fight? Was it beating the Taliban or beating Al-Qaeda, uh, making the country a democracy? And if you don't know how to end it, then you should just wrap it up and get out, you know? And this report shows that America's government had little success and not much of a strategy going in. But there was one thing they had plenty of, money. The problem is, as any rapper will tell you, more money, more unnecessary expenditures. <laughs> aid workers in the field, military officers, diplomats, they all said this was more money than they could possibly spend, that they were ordered by Congress and officials back in Washington to spend, spend, spend as quickly as they could, as much as they could. Nearly a billion dollars on helicopters and planes for the Afghans. Trouble is, there is serious doubt that the Afghans can fly them. A half million of your dollars wasted on a building that melted four months after it was built. $34 million went to a soybean growing project. And soybeans don't grow in Afghanistan, and people in Afghanistan don't eat soybeans. The Pentagon wasted millions on uniforms for the Afghan army. It was to buy a forest camouflage pattern. Forests cover only 2% of Afghanistan. <laughs> okay, that is just insane. $28 million for forest camouflage in a country that's all deserts. America spent nearly $2 trillion on the war in Afghanistan with basically nothing to show for it. And maybe that's how you get the US government to put money into things like healthcare or teachers, right? That's what Americans should do. Just tell them the Taliban is there. Yeah, then Congress will be like, the Taliban is attacking schools and hospitals. Give them more money. Give them as much money as they need and send in three Forrest Whitakers just in case. U.S. officials have misled the American people about the conflict across three administrations with decades of upbeat presidential pronouncements about the war. Our progress is a tribute to the spirit of the Afghan people and to the might of the United States military. Here, in the pre-dawn darkness of Afghanistan, we can see the light of a new day on the horizon. Great progress is being made. The spirit, and I'm hearing it from everybody, everybody that goes over comes back and say, said, really, it's like a different place. Yeah, it turns out that Bush, Obama, and Trump wants to go to war, but you don't want to use your own weapons. Do you have cash? Well, the American military is open for business. Under President Trump's new policy, America's armed forces are up for rent. We got tanks, we got planes, we got those guns that go ba 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 Assistant running into the room, Shah, Shah, it's the infamous terrorist Rajesh. <laughs> Let's switch on the big screen, pew, and there he'd be. <laughs> Is it on? Okay. Hello? <laughs> Hello, UN. Hello, Namaste, Namaste. <laughs> namaste, how are you, uncle, auntie? <laughs> pleasure, pleasure. 
my name is rajesh and i have placed bombs strategically all over the world now if you all don't pay me 1 billion dollar us i will proceed to make the entire world go kaboom they be like but but rajesh we don't have money rajesh we don't have money it's the credit crunch okay how much you got then <laughs> <laughs>